Hey everybody, how's it going? Today's video might be a little controversial, but that's okay. I'm gonna be reinstalling my air dam on my 2019 GMC Canyon. Now, before you get all in a huff and a puff, I'm not installing it as is. I'm actually gonna modify it a little bit. I'm gonna trim it down so that it's not so big on the truck. Now, I've had this laying around in my garage since I took it off, I don't know, sometime last year when I got that truck, and it's been up on a shelf but I look at it every time I walk into the garage and it really just annoys me. And I honestly can't find myself to throw it away. So this is the alternative. I'm gonna trim it down and then I'm gonna reinstall it on the truck. This is relatively easy. I mean, the installation is the reverse of removing it. So my method that I'm gonna be using to cut the air dam down is just using some blue painter's tape. I'm gonna measure and mark a line that's gonna be nice and even across the entire thing from both sides. And then I'm just gonna use a brand new straight razor and score this plastic um, all the way through until I have a nice even cut. Now the only thing left to do is to cut. And this first pass is not gonna cut it all the way through. It's just gonna score the plastic just enough so that I can make repeat passes. And I'm trying to be careful that I'm not cutting into the blue, even though I am. So I'm gonna have to go really slow and try to make sure I stay off of the blue and just cutting plastic. I'm not providing a lot of downforce right now. I'm just sort of getting a nice score into the plastic right now. And I'm not gonna go all the way across on my first pass. I'm gonna actually just score this several times until I'm all the way through and then I'll, I'll work my way down. Now I am through down here after about three scores. So just make sure you're using a nice sharp knife. You can see I'm all the way through there already, up to about here. Here's a tip. I'm switching from a knife that has a retractable blade um, because every time uh, I would pull, it would want to extend the blade all the way out, which is basically, that's how you remove the blade. So I didn't like that in particular. So I have this blade that is a fixed blade. It doesn't retract at all. So now when I'm cutting, it won't want to be pulled out of the, you know, the housing of the knife blade itself. So maybe that's easier to cut with. I'm going to try it now. So now that I have it all cut, I'm going to leave the tape in place and I'm just going to use that blade again and I'm just going to, I'm going to scrape along that knife edge that I cut and try to get this line as smooth as possible because there are some spots where I didn't quite get um, right on the line. So I'm going to have to scrape that off and then make this nice and smooth. It is pretty smooth now, just feeling it with my thumb, but there's a couple of rough spots where I didn't get it perfect. So I'm just going to clean it up with the blade again one more time and then it should be good to reinstall. So now that I have that trimmed up, I'm gonna go ahead and remove my tape and check out the score that I made. Hopefully it's nice and clean. So it's not bad for the most part. It's gonna be hard to pick up on the GoPro, but there's a little bit of a raised edge here from when I scored it. So it's not ideal, but I think I'm gonna take the blade and just knock that off as well all the way down it's not in every spot it's probably in spots where i was pushing a little too hard for the first pass mostly right where i was starting but otherwise it's in pretty good shape i like it 
So now I'm going to bolt this up, see how it goes. Alright guys, so I got it all buttoned up. Gotta be honest, I kinda like the way it looks. It uh, fills in that gap pretty good and um, doesn't look terrible like the original one. So I think I'll stick with it for a while. Anyways, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Love it if you subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. Later.